Hi guys, it's Nicole and Kyle and Hank. <laughs> um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to stay successful on your weight loss or fitness journey during the holidays. Um, I love to bake, so let's start with that. Um, I baked some cookies today and when we first started losing weight, I... I denied myself baking because I thought that I was Miss Fitness Lady who was never going to eat cookies ever again or any sort of baked good. And I thought also that if I baked, I would probably eat everything because I still was learning self-control. I was still learning um, discipline, how to not eat instead of deal with my emotions. So. Um, baking at that point was completely not an option, but the more that I denied myself, um, the more that I would just binge on anything anyway, and then I wasn't doing something that I loved. So I finally decided that I'm going to bake. I love baking. I give most of it away as gifts, but I do free some of it for Kyle and I for our treat days. and. When it comes to the holidays, if you are somebody that loves baking or needs to do holiday baking of some, some kind, what I did do before was I would bake everything and I would have somebody else taste test it for me. But then I realized that was setting me up for failure as well because then I would just go binge later or I would eat way too many cookies when I was baking the next time or whatever, it set me up for, for a binge. So, um, the best thing to do is to let yourself taste what you're baking. What a concept. <laughs> um, this is the first time that I have allowed myself to taste my baking knowing that I was gonna taste it going in. Usually I tell myself, no, you can't taste it, it's not your treat day, but Today I said, you're baking for other people. It's, you need to taste it and make sure it's okay. And two, it's okay if you wanna taste it because that's a normal thing to do. So I tried, I made four different kinds of cookies and I tried all four. And Hank was lucky cause I shared them all with him except for the chocolate ones. <laughs> so I split my cookies with Hank um, I had half of each of my cookies and they were delicious and I also got to know what I was giving other people. I knew that I had put in the, the right ingredients and that they tasted good. I Did I still feel guilty? Yes, because I'm still working through all of those things and that is normal. But it's okay and normal to taste your holiday baking. So you can either bake on a treat day, which is also an option and which is something I thought about doing, but I don't really wanna bake on my treat day. I wanna enjoy my treat day. So I'm baking today on our off workout day so that uh, it's not too much all in one shot. Um, and I'm tasting them and I'm okay with the fact that I had some cookies today and I had a treat day, so I probably won't see the best results on the scale this week, but that's okay. Because this is not just a lose weight quick and and then you're, everything's perfect lifestyle. This is a healthy lifestyle for the rest of your life. And yes, sometimes you're gonna eat holiday cookies. So I hope that helps you guys on what to do with holiday baking. It's okay to taste them. Allow yourself to taste them because if you tell yourself no, you may be okay for the first few times you bake and then you might start to see yourself sneaking a cookie or binging or eating some, too much of something else later on. So allow yourself to eat them guilt-free and if you do feel guilty, just feel it, work through it. It's okay, it's normal to taste your holiday baking which is something that I'm still working through, like I said. 
Next, um, you're probably going to start seeing treats up here everywhere. People are probably going to bring them to your house. You're probably going to see them at work, people bringing treats in, holiday cookies and whatever else comes in, all the chocolate you're going to start having brought to your work. Um, there are a few tips that we have for that. One, do not deny yourself. We We've done everything. <laughs> we denied ourselves at first. And again, it will set you up to binge later on. It doesn't mean you're gonna binge that day. It could be two months down the road. It could be a year down the road. You could, we were fine for the first year, year and a half, eating pretty much no treats at all. But then a year and a half later, we started to slowly gain a little bit of weight because we had denied ourselves and we started allowing ourselves to eat, but we binged instead. So allow yourself, do not deny yourself. That's one thing if you're gonna learn anything from this video, do not deny yourself any treats over the holidays. Um, the next tip is if it's not your treat day and treats come in and they come in when you just no, don't expect them and you want one, choose one or two treats that you really think you're gonna enjoy and enjoy them. Don't feel guilty about it. Have a, have a portion of them and then move on and with the same meal plan that you had planned for that day. Don't cut out food or anything. Just keep going with your normal daily meal plan. The other option is if you know treats are going to be coming to a certain place, if you're going to a friend's or if someone's coming to your house, or if staff is bringing treats to your work, coworkers are bringing treats in on a certain day and you know it, you can also plan your treat day for that day and have those treats as your dessert. The other tip, which um, Kyle and I do, is if we see, and we do this pretty much most of the time. If it's not our treat day and we see a treat that we like, we will freeze it. We'll, we'll put it in a bag or container. If we're out, we'll ask for a bag or whatever. Or sometimes we bring an extra container and we will put it in the container, throw it in our freezer, and then thaw it out for a treat day and enjoy it then. There was a day at work where someone brought in some candy that I had been craving and so I just happened to have a bag, a Ziploc bag, from my lunch. So I threw some of the candy in my bag and then brought it home and saved it for treat day. So you can also do that. And like I said, we do that very often. Um, we freeze treats and then we eat them on our treat day. So you still get the treat. You wouldn't get it that day, but you will still get it. Um, so hopefully that helps you with all of the treats that are going to be coming in and, and you're going to be around in the next couple of weeks. As for Christmas and Christmas Eve and New Year's, we do usually have just one treat day a week. However, we had denied ourselves eating anything during any holiday for a while and realized that that doesn't work either. So then we went to just Christmas but we generally go to family, um, families' houses on Christmas Eve, and there's always food there. And most, and most of the Christmas Eves where we were losing weight, we said, nope, we're not eating because it's not the day to eat. Well, again, that will set you up for a binge, and we, we've been there, done that. So do not deny yourself, again, you, be, you can be lenient during the holidays. What we've learned is that the two weeks where you've got Christmas, Christmas Eve, and New Year's Eve, you're probably not gonna see great results on the scale and that's okay. Um, you just need to be okay with that and know that after um, th those two weeks, you're gonna be back on track again. But it's important to stay on track for those two weeks except Christmas Eve, you can allow yourself a treat if you are if you do something. <laughs> Speaking of Hank, sorry to interrupt you. He likes treats on Christmas Eve too, <laughs> or every day actually. 
<laughs> um, so this year what we're doing is Christmas Eve, we're eating our normal meal plan all day and then when we go to our family's house that night, we will allow ourselves whatever we enjoy. Um, before I found that when I finally allowed myself to eat on Christmas Eve, I just ate everything even if I didn't really want it because it was like get it now because it's Christmas Eve and and then it's done try try not to do that to yourself because I learned the hard way I ate things that I didn't really like and then it just what it didn't seem worth it so eat what you really would like that day and if you don't think that you're gonna like anything there Kyle and I like to bring things we know that we will eat so that we have treats and we will feel satisfied when we come away from that particular event. Like these cookies, we will be bringing those and we know we'll enjoy those and be satisfied. So choose portions of what you would like on Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day will be our actual treat day and we will make whatever we feel like we don't feel like a traditional Christmas dinner this year, so we're gonna just figure it out once it gets closer. And then, of course, New Year's Eve. Again, if it doesn't fall on your treat day, it's okay. Um, you can either plan it, Kyle and I will move our treat day to New Year's Eve, and then do it that way. But, again, you could always do what we're doing for New Year's Eve and Christmas Day. You could allow yourself to have a few treats, a few portions of what you enjoy, and then have your treat day another day, or you could just move your treat day to Chris, um, New Year's Day, Eve. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting all confused. And again, remember, if you do have a few more treats than normal those two weeks, it's okay. Try to stay on track. Um, what you can do is include items that stay within your your macros um, or, or calorie count or whatever it is that you do to um, lose weight, however your method is. You can make creative really good things. For example, today we're doing a lower carb day, so we had a chocolate mint protein shake. I just kind of made it up on the spot and it, it tasted really good. So that's something that you can enjoy, but it's still within your meal plan and your macros and, and you're still staying on track. So have enjoyable items like that to keep you on track for those two weeks. And then when treats come in, have portions of them. Don't deny yourself, but don't go crazy either. Um, on your treat day is the day where you can eat however much you want whatever you want, but you know, use common sense and listen to your body, basically. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys out because I know Kyle and I used to really struggle around holidays and you can apply this to any time, not just holidays, like if you're going to a friend's house or whatever. You can either move your treat day to it or you can enjoy a few portions of items that you Enjoy. Whatever it is, take away, do not deny yourself. That is the worst thing and Kyle and I have been there and we know what it's like to deny yourself and watch people eating and you think you're okay but in the end it will affect you. And you end up eating way more than you would have if you just ate what you wanted to at the party exactly. anyway. Exactly, yeah. So just enjoy the holidays, don't freak out too much. Realize and be okay with the fact that the scale might not be your best friend during those two weeks and that's okay. And that's what this whole life journey is. When, you're, when you want to lose weight and keep it off, it's not a short couple months and you're done. This is a you're in and you're in it for the long haul. So it's okay if the scale doesn't go down every week. It's okay if you enjoy a few extra treats. Don't worry about it. It's normal. Enjoy your holidays. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this helps you out a bit. Thank you so much for watching and sorry I talk with my hands a lot. Um, <laughs> see you next time guys.